All right, if you haven't heard it already, you will soon. Google Analytics is going away, almost. Universal Analytics is retiring, and we wanted to share a few of our thoughts. I'm Mike Query. I'm one of the founders of AdMind Analytics. We spend all our day helping marketers measure the impact of their efforts, and Google Analytics changing its function is a huge deal to us. They've just made an announcement. Let's start with some of what we've heard and and what that means we should be doing and some of our thoughts, and maybe that helps you think about some of the way that you should be reacting. So Google Analytics as of yesterday, which is March 16th, 2022, has announced that next year, Google Analytics Universal will be retiring. Um, that means on July 1st, 2023, free analytics will stop processing data for GA360 enterprise customers. Uh, Google Analytics will stop processing data on October 1st. They've told us that we'll have at least six months of access to data after that collection stops. Um, so let's talk about first why they're doing that. And that gives us some context to how we respond. Um, first, GA4 is the future. And we've heard this for some time. If you've been involved in Google products at all in the last couple of years, you've heard about GA4. GA4 is what Google's called an upgrade. It's more than just an upgrade though. It's a total replatforming. Google bought Firebase a number of years ago, which was a mobile analytics platform and app analytics platform. They've been using the app analytics functionality for deployment for measuring web and app under the name GA4. Let's talk about why that matters and why they've made that just that adjustment. First, data ownership is critical and Google's been behind compared to other analytics systems on this front. Um, in order to have a clear view of the customer and in order to comply with privacy and to join data at a, at a business level, we need to have ownership over the data, meaning we need to have the data stored in a way that we can access it, not on Google's servers necessarily, not inside behind the Google Analytics interface, but in a way that we can join the data. Um, GA4 solves this problem for us. This is the biggest thing. First party data integration, meaning joining our business data sources together is really the only way to observe and respond to the customer in the modern world. Meaning that we've got to have an understanding of what somebody does on the web, what somebody does with our sales team, what somebody does in our email lists. And to join that together is the first step in being able to respond cohesively as a business. Secondarily, um, related to the joining of the data with web analytics, in Google Analytics, historically, we've had two separate sort of views. If we have an app and if we have a web experience, we've seen those in silos. There's been a little bit of an opportunity to join them, but, but functionally not really. GA4 bridges this gap. Um, there's some old thought, another ideological thing here. There's some old thought around sessions. GA, uh, Universal Analytics, is built on with the fundamental base unit of sessions. Session, the world isn't made up of sessions, the world's made up of people and users. It's better for us to think about our marketing efforts in terms of people and their browsing behavior or their interactions with us, their bundles in terms of, of bundles of user behavior rather than just sessions on the web. GA4 gives us a more holistic picture of this. It's a more modern way of us thinking about our marketing efforts. And finally, probably some motivating factor here is that Google's been providing free web analytics to essentially the internet for 20 years and giving us the capability to our own own our own data also comes with sharing some of the computing costs and that's a benefit for google now for us it doesn't make a whole lot of difference it ga4 will still be free up to a, a certain tier up to a million hits recorded per month beyond that there will be an enterprise product still um but the storage of that data will only last for 13 months in the platform. If we want more than 13 months worth of data, then we'll have to store it outside of the platform and, and hence be paying some of the server costs for that storage. But that's cheap, dollars on a monthly basis, not tens, twenties, or, or not thousands of dollars even, anything like that. So one of the things that we've seen and that, that GA4 helps us with is from a marketing perspective, We've lived in this messy world where we spend a lot of our time as marketers. In fact, we've done some interviewing and we think that four out of five marketers spend more than half their time thinking about why their data doesn't line up than 
why then what strategically they ought to do next. And that comes from this data living in silos, teams working in silos out of their own platforms, reporting to marketing leadership and giving one view of performance and of the data. But the data is also joined in other systems in the business, often transformed by those systems and maybe by the teams using those systems, goes through many times some business reporting and gives marketing leadership or executives in the business another picture of the data. And those often don't line up and we spend a lot of time talking about why that is rather than what we should be doing in marketing. The way to make progress is to centralize that data storage, standardize the way we process it, standardize the way we report on it, and then we have the capability to talk all, spend all of our creative energies talking about what we can do to influence the customer journey as opposed to why our data doesn't line up about what the customer journey actually even was. GA4 is what helps us. That's the step forward in getting ownership over our data so that we can join it together with our other business systems so that we can standardize it in processing and so that we can remove the gap of, or remove that time that's, that's wasted on why things don't match. So let's just talk about for a few minutes what to do. We've got 15 or 18 months from here. So first, there's no need to panic. This came a little quicker than we anticipated. For those folks that are working with us already, GA4 is on their roadmaps. If you're not working with us already, then it should be on yours. And it may need to be increased in its priority. You should be thinking about come a year from now, your team will have to be doing their web analytics analysis out of the GA4 interface. It's pretty different from the Google Analytics Universal interface. So you, you need to be thinking about being ready for that. Um, if you have GA4 implemented, GA4, you should turn on the BigQuery integration. It doesn't cost any money except for the storage or querying cost in BigQuery, which is pennies, pennies, it's cheap. Um, then finally, we, we do need to make plans to extract the Universal Analytics data before that data goes away, our access to that data goes away. So those are the things that we're thinking about now. You might have been thinking about some of these things already. Maybe you're being made aware of them for the first time now. If you need help, if you're looking for analytics help in, in adopting GA4 and in preparing for the, the um, retiring of Universal Analytics, we can help. If you're a solopreneur or you're a young business working on product market fit, Google has a lot of great documentation that's free and available for you to consume. Turning on GA4 as a, as a dynamic or as a combined property with your Universal Analytics is a great first step. If, you're, if you've achieved market fit and you're, you're now at the stage where you're starting to scale marketing efforts, and, and that usually comes with spends of tens or twenties or fifties of thousands of dollars a month in, in marketing spends and resourcing, once you're at that level, then often it makes a lot of sense to bring in data architecture expertise so that you have some alignment around the data and we're a great fit at that point in time. If you have questions, please don't hesitate to reach out. We'd love to spend a few minutes talking with you for free to make sure that, that we could be helpful. And if we can't, we'll give you some recommendations. If we can, then we'd love to continue to be helpful. Uh, you can find us at admineanalytics.com. Feel free to fill out a contact form. We'd love the chance to meet you and, and be helpful in your journey.